uBlock Origin, a free open source browser extension built for both content filtering and ad blocking. And yeah, those are some pretty big claims, right? But this ad blocker does have to seem a decent reputation among its users, so, well, is it really that good? Hey, let's find out for this uBlock Origin review. Hey, Mike here from Cyber News, and uBlock Origin was just released, well, back in 2014, and their reputation actually precedes them to this very day. So, why don't we just go ahead and put their reputation to the test and see if there's more to this little ad blocker. Okay, so I've told you that uBlock Origin is open source, right? And why does that matter? Well, open source basically means that anybody, and I mean anybody, can take the source code of the app, use it, study it, change it, and distribute it. It's actually really great for security and fixing bugs. And in general, it's just a more user-centric approach to software. It's really a great way to handle bugs and improve security. Because, well, imagine that instead of having just 10 employees trying to fix a bug or improve security stuff, you actually end up with a few thousand users while working on the same things to fix them and make them better. And well, look, users do seem to love uBlock Origin, so looks like they're all in. Now, just real quick, before we move on, I just want to remind you to subscribe to the Cyber News YouTube channel and leave your experience with uBlock Origin in the comments. Okay, so first, how do we use uBlock Origin? Well, first, the uBlock Origin extension is available on Firefox, Chrome, Opera, and even Edge browsers, all completely for free. Yep, no extra fees or any hidden restrictions. Just install and use. Okay, how to block ads on Chrome? Simple, actually. Just activate uBlock Origin and, well, that's it, assuming you only want protection from ads. But yeah, there is more. The first features can help block pop-up and large media elements. I can toggle them on or off for every website manually in the extension or make those changes permanent with the lock symbol or, you know, through the settings. In the uBlock Origin settings, I can also define what large media is. The JavaScript and remote font blockers are also great tools when I need to speed up my browsing experience. Now, a lot of websites come with a ton of fancy scripts that, look, I don't really need, especially when I'm just looking for an article to read. So turning on these settings help me reduce bloated loading times. And I really like the way uBlock Origin presents everything. I get shown exactly how many fonts and JavaScript files the page has, so I can choose if disabling them would improve my surfing experience. And next is the Element Zapper, one of the most interesting features of uBlock Origin. Now, it allows me to temporarily hide any element on a web page without creating filters or anything else. So if I just go to some website with a weird ad or element or whatever, I can just do this and voila, it's great for sites that I just visit once in a while for some technical info. Element Picker is another interesting feature for when I want to create more permanent filters. It allows me to see the exact hierarchy of a block or element and then choose what level I want to hide it. Now, I can also create more complex cosmetic filter networks without coding anything, just using these sliders and then clicking this button to create the filter. So yeah, even beginners can work with filters here. Super easy. And while all this is amazing stuff for a free tool, it actually does lack a few advanced features that other providers do offer. So if you're looking for a bit more than just the best ad blocker, you should check out my deals in the description for NordVPN or Total Adblock, because those two providers have many cyber life enhancing features, including an ad blocker plus an antivirus bundle. Okay, but actually the most important thing for this uBlock Origin Review 2023 edition is the real life testing. Of course it is. So to do this, I'm using a Chrome browser on a Windows computer and accessing weather.com and speedtest.net. So first, let's see how these two websites look without uBlock Origin enabled, and then let's turn it on. Oh, there you go. All ads and other annoying content are poof, gone. And I like that this extension doesn't hurt my browsing speed or leave empty spaces where the ads used to be. Now, overall, uBlock Origin is a very simple yet expansive ad blocker. So no matter if you're using uBlock Origin Firefox or Chrome versions, even a complete beginner can start blocking ads. However, you do need to be more advanced to use everything that this tool can offer. And there are a lot of settings and customizations available here. Now, I wouldn't exactly call it the best looking ad blocker since the design itself is, well, pretty boring and simple. And at least compared to NordVPN or Surfshark blockers, it's, 
yeah, it's just not there yet. But something I do like, I can add or remove info with these buttons. This allows me to customize the interface to precisely what I need and want, from just the power button to this. And after working with uBlock Origin for a while, I haven't noticed any red flags or problems with how it functions and works. Okay, the more advanced settings are done in a separate browser window. It's a bit bare bones, at least design-wise. It feels even more simple than the extension itself. But in general, the uBlock Origin settings and tools can actually be a bit too much or even irritating for a complete beginner. But you know what? It works, and the basic features are easy to get the hang of. Most of them are for specific situations and can be accessed from the main extension window. Oh, and before I forget, I would also recommend turning the cloud storage support on. It makes moving and changing settings easier in the future. However, there are a lot more ways to customize uBlock Origin, the most important one being the filter list. Now here, I can toggle specific filters on or off. These can block or allow certain content, and to see what these affect, well, I can click this eye symbol. If I want to build filters or add some rules myself, which you can do easily in these two tabs. Now, there's not enough time to go into every advanced setting or tool that uBlock Origin has. We'd be here forever, but there are quite a few of them, just know that. So, it is probably the best ad blocker for users who like to mess around with all that extra stuff. Psst, hey, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you found it useful. It's the right thing to do. You know it is, I know it is, do it. So in the end, uBlock Origin is a great ad and content blocker. It's easy to get the hang of, but it is a little more focused on experienced users. And the fact that it's free and open source is just a nice cherry on top. So I'd recommend uBlock Origin if you don't need more privacy features, like a built-in VPNs that other ad blockers have. Hmm? All right, thanks for watching my uBlock Origin review. You can find a lot more videos like this over on my side, you know, the Cyber News Channel. Oh, and maybe you have a uBlock Origin alternative that we should review next. Let us know for sure. Hey, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.